They'll be calling you a radical. The Holy Grail. We've hit it. Look, I'm the first off before I start this. This is real important. A lot of really incredible information about them bringing Japanese nuclear waste as you're paying for your own death. That's right. The Japanese nuclear waste, the bags, they're coming here. Not going to good illegally. They're coming right here, right now. Now, before I get to this, I want to explain to people out there, look, this vlog, my information, my work is never in turn intended for the masses. The masses are gone, going, going, gone. I mean, they're, they're not going to do anything. They're just going to air suck and earth crawl. This is, look, 99.999% of the world population are air sucking earth crawlers, caught up in, you know, obey, consume, consumption, just going along with their lives. You know, in an abstract, unconscious state that they've been hypnotized by the box, they've been hypnotized by popular culture. It took a long, the frogs have done, been boiled nicely. But, there's a small group, okay, the looters, Obama, you know, and I like it how the far right, oh, the globalist elites, okay, we're going to get our good, <laughs> they're showing you the guns, what you, I mean, it's so pathetic, the evangelicals are pathetic, the Mormon church is pathetic, not per se the person, they're leaders, Olsen was paid to lead you off the cliff, all these, at the mound in St. Louis, so this, they're moving the Japanese waste here, now, right here, now, illegal, it's like, in, okay, for instance, in, St. Louis. All right, now Helen Calicott geeks up because she's showing up because she's on her book tour. That's when she shows up. That's the only time she ever shows up on her book tour. So, look, people have been fighting that mouse as long as I can remember, since the 60s. They've been fighting going crazy. Nobody listened to them. Nobody paid attention to them. It's too late. Then it's too late. Look, you, you do know that people went to prison for 13 years, 15 years. The Megan Rice thing, you know, they were in Kansas City and Missouri at the same time. Did you just pay any attention to them? People sacrificed their lives trying to wake you fucking goats up. Look, give up on waking the goats up. Give up on waking the sheep up. Let them go. They've been told, they've been tried, look, and they're going to get their guns and they're going to fall for the, you know, they're still going to go into their dogma, their racism, their homophobia, their gun, their freaking dogma. They're going to go there and take the earth with them in their arrogance. They're worthless. You let them go. Let them get cancer. And I'm here to tell you. The awareness is the life. So I want to talk about Astro too. And before I get going, this is really important. This is the power of this vlog. Now Rex, who was following along my vlog and my paintings, long before Fukushima happened. He's been there the whole time. He actually protested at Livermore with me on day 1000. Him and his girlfriend. He's an amazing guy. He's the one that named this the Fukushima fish hook. Okay, when I got cancer and was told to go home and die, two months to live, another young man who was, I can't overstate this, who actually watched these videos, used to comment. There's been a lot of them, by the way. Dan, I, I can start naming it. This is the third anniversary of Paul and Carla's boat's death. But they were in this vlog all the time. So I just found this out yesterday. So Rex is hiking the Pacific Coast Trail, him and his girlfriend. They're hiking the whole thing. He meets this guy. You know, it took him a long time. They talk. And finally, they found out, you know, he'd been watching my videos, blah, 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 blah. But he was studying astrophysics. Now, think about this. It comes full circle at Cal Berkeley. The very place I attacked, the very place that caused his death, Cal Berkeley, the very place that gave him the fellowship, his world killed him. Cal Berkeley, they, they tried to kill me. And that's who's running the head of the snake. So he's studying there. He got the same disease as I got at the same time. Exact same time. So many of us did. So he was hiking the trail. So they kept reporting to me. Rex kept reporting me. So did he. He's gotten famous now. Everybody down there calls him Astro. So you know I talked about him on this vlog thousands of times. I didn't know who he was. So this is this young man. He made it almost the whole way. I think he did make it the whole way. You know, he'd get off the trail for a little bit of treatment here and there. And I talked to him lots of times. And I talked to Rex, and Rex was with him a lot. And I think he actually died on the trail. I mean, they were going through snow at the end. They dedicated trails. So, I mean, wow. It was very emotional. And you remember that, people that have watched this along. There's been plenty of people who watched every second of every video I've ever done. Now you think about that. But, you know, it's back on Balco. So, Japan's bringing the waste here now. I can't overstate how many people have been in this vlog and blog fighting for their lives. 
the information, the light is the life. You can go, look, inside that bone marrow transplant center, got heavy chemo multiple times. It was a last resort. It's a Hail Mary. Live like you have cancer before you have cancer, but the awareness is the life. For instance, thyroid cancer, you know, he calls it Fukushima Fushuk. We call it Chernobyl necklace, the Utah smiley face. If you're aware, there's plenty of precautions, but they're lo looting us and they're lying to us. This is the greatest crimes in human history. So we have a small group of looters and thieves that people that sell the guns, and that's, by the way, the people that are all geeked up on gung ho on the gun who end up just killing themselves, killing their friend, killing their son, killing their freaking neighbor, going to, that's all you're going to accomplish with that. You took, a, you took a knife to a drone war. And so, you know, they're coming in, they play the race, they, you know, they line up worthless, totally worthless. It's all, I mean, in fact, it's counterproductive. The softball activism, counterproductive. And then there's a group of us. We're fighting them. We're saving you from you. And I don't give a fuck. You know, the so-called intellectual community is not the intellectual community. You know, the New Yorker, the Columbia Review, I've talked to those idiots. They're morons. You go to... You know, the Columbia, the professors that have taken the field because they rechanged the field 30 years ago on peer review. They're not fucking, they're fucking regurgitating shit for 30 years because they're fucking morons. So the intellectual community, the real dynamic, the very few that are going to move anything in culture are right here. They're right here. There's only probably a few hundred of us. For real. On earth. That's it. There's a few hundred of us on earth that get this whole dynamic. Now look, Francis in St. Louis. Too late. So I want you fuckers to all wake up right here, right now. This is all illegal. This is looting. The greatest loot because they have all the money. And how do they have all the money? Through Congress. Through the IA. They hijack. They just unlimited money and we've let corruption go. Bush didn't prosecute white core crimes. He, he was all for them. Well, the Obama administration was even worse. Now, we have Lynch in town who's been indicted a few, but I think that's just going to go after any of the nuclear cartel because that's, you know, Barack Obama, you know, Axelrod, freaking Rahm Emanuel, David Vitter, I can go on and on and on, Harry Reid, freaking Mike Lee, Mike Lee up to his elbows right here. And so what they've secretly done, they thrown, they knew that they didn't have revitification. They knew the nuclear issue was over. They knew. So, for instance, in New York, my whistleblower, I talked to him again yesterday. Now, you know I've reported this over and over and over. He reported that the NRCA knew the freak of spent fuel pools in Indian Point were leaking for 30 years. He's actually a guy who used to go in there and weld them. He's told me that. You, there's been plenty of people in New York with me, you know, when we got kicked out of the climate march, you know, for being real activists by Al Gore's bitch. They, he was standing right there. You guys all heard him. You know, he's told this over and over and over and over. The spent fuel pools have been leaking into the Hudson Mass Murray, New York. For, that, those are hardcore crimes. The, people, the NRC knows it. Everybody knows it. It's just a club. It's a cover-up fucking cabal looting. So now the Japanese waste, which Japan, this whole, you know, that waste is so fucking hot. Now, this has been verified to me by truckers. So they're trucking it out of South Carolina. Why do they bring it into South Carolina? Because that's where the nuclear port, they get political cover there. It's legal for them to bring in fucking nuclear waste into that port. And then they're trucking across. But it's not legal. So what they did when I was in Vienna, I was battling them at the IEA. That, that's so corrupt there. It's unbelievable. They got permission to delist the fucking name and the waste. Not to put, you know, they got permission to take the... The waste has to be tagged of origin. It's similar to the food things, what they've done here with the TPP. It's the same thing, what they've done with food. You know, just like when you go to Canada and say, you know what it'll say on the tag? Sold in Canada. <laughs> it's like in Vienna. You go to Vienna and you'll say, or Austria. This man, oh, are you kidding? Oh, they, everything's made there. I mean, they get it. I have that shirt that I gave my son-in-law that, you know, on, I bought made in Waterloo on the 200th anniversary of water, well, with Waterloo cotton in Austria, you know. But they're teeny and they're small. Our group's teeny and small. So any point's been leaking. And so we know this. So they're bringing the waste illegally. And I've been verified this through truckers. A bunch of different truckers have verified this. Now look, they're moving the plutonium, the hottest waste on the face of the fucking earth, illegally right now via trucks. 13.1 metric tons. They're moving it to supposedly New Mexico. Peterson right here is building the container. And I already know that because I have lots of friends that work there. They've been building the containers for them a long time. They already knew this was going on. It's all secret shit. Same that's going on at Diablo. Same at San Onofre. San Onofre been leaking. I'm the guy who broke all that fucking loose. You know, nobody's going to give me any credit. I don't give a fuck, but I'm alive. Remember that. I'm a fucking live. I'm alive. So, they're bringing... I mean, do you know how much waste there is? And this shit's hotter than fuck. 
Now, popular science of all people goes over to Fukushima finally. I mean, that's all the rage. Go to Fukushima and radiate yourself, get yourself dead. And we, why are you going over there? We, there's all kinds of videos already did that. Fucking, I saw, I started seeing bootleg videos out of there a long time ago. Fuck, it's all over. It's every, what, what, you think you're going to get on the winning team by going over there and reporting something that's been done 35 fucking times? Anyway, 90% of what's going on over there is underground. You ain't going to see it anyway. Ask fucking Caroline Kennedy. Stand down, Caroline! On the 50th anniversary of this. That's right. You know, right from the horse's mouth when I was in New York. So they're bringing it here. They're bringing it to Texas. They have a big hole in Texas. They're dumping it in there. They're bringing it all over Nevada. All over here in Utah. They got so much of it, and they're dumping it illegal. And it's all a bankrupt company called Energy Solutions, who's the head of the snake, delisted by the New York side. These are the people that are, this is a cabal. This is the great crime. I mean, Capone on Balco, run out of Chicago. I mean, go with nigger. Capone on Balco. Fuck, here we go again. Fucking. Same old Sam -o, Same old Sam -o, Fucking. You know, it. it the ignorance has become, and the nuclear fallout and the cancer has become, literally your biology, literally the ecology, figuratively the new theology. It's your sociology, and it's you know you want to turn it into some kind of pseudo de facto mythology with absolutely no apologies. It's fucking sad. You murder yourself, the sheep are fucking just slaughtering themselves. I thought, you know, I didn't understand this until I was in the bone marrow trying to edit the support group. They can't handle it. You know, people that work nuclear reactors and they're just dying, dying, you know, talking to them and they don't even try. It's all God's will. It ain't God's will. You people that freaking die like that, all softball, you you go into your own, read your own book, read your own doctrine. Tim shall thou missed. You know, men are responsible for their actions. Hell awaits you all, you know, so you're just going to lay down. And they do. I mean, I see, they don't even try. I fight, and they do. I mean, they want to live, but they don't know how to fight. And they fucking die so fast. Now, this kid asked, you know, wow, I love you. I love you, ass girl. Andy was his name. I love you, Andy. I think about you every day. You know, he was right there. Dana, I love you. Paul, Carla, they're all in this site. I can name off hundreds of people in this site. There's, there's, I got a call one time, this woman says, Kevin, I would have never, ever, I, would, I had AML, got AML from Fukushima just like you, and uh, I would have never had the strength to go through the heavy, heavy chemo, and there's only an alternative when you got AML like that, Bo Murray, you're going you're gonna to die. I would have never had the strength if I didn't watch you. And she called me, and she says, you talked me into it. I don't even know if you even remember the phone call, because I get a lot of phone calls, you know, I get a lot of crazy ones, but I get a lot of good ones, and I have an army of whistleblowers like you would not believe. She says, I think I'm going to survive. It looks like I'm going to make your path. And if, I would have never done that without you. There's a lot of them out there like that. And it's like all these young people I talked into buying Tesla at $12, $14. Look, my brother has been building him this new place, you know, on the family farm. The family. So I'm like, you, you want to prove it? The state of Utah is charging you 16000 to hook into the grid. Well, we have free energy right now. And so the battery packs, the new ones that are out, I just try it. Just try it. Just try it. Just try doing it. That's why I'm going right now. I'm going to help put up the last two solar panels. Let's just try it and see if it works. We, you know, they tell you it don't work. You know, fuck everybody. Let's just do it. It's been six months now. It works perfectly. It's free. Totally free. Did cost those batteries. Didn't cost shit. Works beautifully. <laughs> it's amazing. So it's there. You know, and it's not even the Tesla battery pack. I'd say that one's even better. You know, on Elan, this is how fucked up Nevada is, and I'll be in Nevada soon. I'll be in the test site very soon. I want to go to Yucca Mountain do some work. Catch the trucks fucking driving all over, because I've got some tips where they're going. They bought us, you don't even know a test, so you're going to wait till it's too late. Like in St. Louis, you know, everybody geeked up now. We've been fighting about the mound for 40 fucking 50 years. So they're going to truck it into your neighborhood, which they're doing right now, and you're going to wait 10, 20, fuck, 30 hours when it's leaking over and you find out. Then after your child's dead, has autism, after you're dead, your neighbors are dead, after you're fucking, you know, got cancer, you got to fucking, you got to work out, and then you'll start bitching. Huh, not me, motherfuckers. I'm fighting them at the fucking gate. You know, right as they come out. They're trying to pull it here. They're trying to get the little mountain right here. Right here, they're trying to pull a thing. There's one guy standing in their way. It's like Blue Castle. One fucking guy stood in there. One. One. Oh, yeah. I stopped it. I'll stop that. Walk my words. 
you know, the accomplishments that I've made as the artist, as the activist, you know, just remember, don't be out trying to educate the fucking, especially the Echo Brain Brown. I want to say this to the youth, to anybody under 35 years old. Yo, I love you guys. You know I love you guys. And my little grandson, my little grandson gets it so good. You know, he was born just days after Fukushima. Yesterday he says, Grandpa, when I grow up, you know what I'm going to do? And I says, no. And he says, I'm going to be, I got me a, re a big gun, he says. I says, oh yeah, what you do with that? I'm protecting the animals. Anybody wants to freaking hurt the animals, that's what I'm doing. And he says, I'm going to protect them. And he says, you know, that's what you do, huh? He's protecting them, the dolphins, aren't you, Grandpa? He says, yeah. In the ocean, huh? yeah. He says, that Fukushima's killing them, huh? That's what you do. And I says, yeah. And he says, you know what I'm going to do? He says, I'm going to put Fukushima in a jar. Yeah. Stay in tune.